Well, this the old the whole environment of like Spider was like damaged people, and um, and in this place where the, he was sent, and uh, uh, so you you had um, you had people who might have had problem with alcohol, so there was a little bit of rosacea and so on the cheeks and the nose, and um, you know they they had to look realistic, you know they they, they couldn't look like masterpiece theater. Okay, uh, and Ray had to look like he was somebody who wasn't taking a bath very often. So he, uh, what I did is he had to look like he had this layer of dirt on him at all time, and he smelled. And so uh, what I did is I took some, a little bit of alcohol, I took a bunch of witch hazel, and I scooped up some uh, cryolan brown, yellow, and black makeup, and I mixed it in there to make like a, a transparent sort of like um, liquid, which I would spray, and it would creep into all the little crevices and all the pores and look like you just came from a dirty environment or you just didn't bother to wash for a month, you know. So, yeah, it would creep everywhere, and I called it fashion dirt, you know, just for fun. Uh, but it worked out great. Ray Fines in um, Spider, we tried on 60 coats, literally, no, I'm 60. Nigel and I, my assistant designer in London, is 60 coats and tons of shirts and tons of, and you know, he, he was so specific and some worked, some didn't work, and finally that process turned out wonderfully. I mean, to me the greatest reward is once we get that costume established, no matter what we go through, even 60 coats, they're thrilled in the end and it works. But sometimes it takes that. It's not an easy process.